let's kind of start to go through some of the questions that you've um, put forward as far as different types of sensitives are concerned. So let me have a look. Um, I have often heard you say that there is a sensitive intuitive list. Could you please tell us some more of the things on that list? Okay, um, many of those things I've already described, which is uh, things like sensitivity to noise, knowing who's on the phone um, before you pick it up, dreaming of people and then seeing them, um, having an instinct for something that's coming up for somebody's, in somebody's life and wondering whether it's true or whether it's your imagination, having a good instinct. Um, for, for things in general, what's coming next, picking up things before they happen, uh, dreaming of those who've passed over, um, and dreaming as they you've met them and it's been really quite clear, quite a clear connection, even though it may have been years ago that you dreamt of them, you can still remember that dream very vividly. Uh, sensitivity to noise, I think I mentioned that one. You may also find found that you have an increase in allergies um, and food sensitivities. Again, that's indicative of your uh, nervous system um, and, the, and to a certain degree it's the build up in the, in the solar plexus um, over a period of time. Obviously we live quite stressful lives now really. Um, everything is, is very kind of boom 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 focused and a lot of sensitives find it t tricky to live in uh, very busy environments so you may have found that um, perhaps you've lived in a in a city all your life and and it's been you've been finding it quite tough recently I say oh, I don't think I can handle this and I, I need I need to be out in, in a bit of space or I need to move where there's not quite so many people around me I feel a bit overwhelmed with everybody um, you may have found that because you can you can feel the different types of energies uh, a lot of sensitives wake up in the early hours of the morning um, sort of around about three four o'clock feeling that someone's in the room or um, it seems to be a time where they have a kind of a clear feeling of something going on or communication with some other energy that kind of stuff uh, the reason for that is around about that time in the morning in whichever country you're in um, you will find that the vast majority are quiet so everyone's heads are quiet and uh, what that makes it easy to, for you to do is then to be able to pick up on the on the subtleties of, of different vibrations which is why a lot of um, sensitives have not necessarily sleep problems but a sensitivity around that particular time in the morning sort of between it's normally between three and four o'clock in the morning if you do have that but there's there's many many things on on the list so to speak I've just covered a few you know fascination the pretty standard ones fascination with healing um, psychic work um, angels all that kind of stuff is signs that you're a sensitive uh, things like um, being drawn to the lighter colours, the pinks, the lilacs, the whites, again, indicative of being a sensitive. All these kind of things are are very much on the sensitive list. Okay, but there's many, many more. Um, I haven't got enough time to go too far into them. So the next question is, is it possible not to have any or only a few of those things mentioned? 